All right, so the topic of this video is what could save Tower of Fantasy, all right? Now, listen, I want to preface this video, start by saying I apologize for the slightly clickbaity title. Uh, there is no planned, like, update for server merge that I've heard in Tower of Fantasy. However, to those of us who are on PC, we, we do know that at some point in time they did decide to merge the servers, um, or at least in some form of capacity. I don't, I don't know exactly know the specifics of it, so if you in the comments uh, can tell me exactly what happened, because I stopped playing the game on PC uh, be, uh, before the, they started letting people like switch servers, but from what I've heard or what I think or what I gathered, it was something like people were able to like move their characters around to different servers. And the thing about Tower of Fantasy was when it first came out, people were like wondering if they were going to be able to bring their PC characters over on the PlayStation. And at the time, there didn't seem like there were, there were any plans to do it. And the way they made it seem on their Twitter, it was like they were trying to do it and there was just no way to do it. So, uh, listen, I, I read, yesterday's video was a success. I, I gotta say thank you to everybody who showed support to yesterday's video. I really appreciate that more than you know, especially now in this time. I mean, some of you might have an idea, you know, how YouTube is and you know when you're a youtuber a gaming youtuber you put all your chips in one basket for a game you kind of hope that game is around for a while once you build up your community and you can continue to like thrive off of that game or whatever so i just want to say it's not lost on me you know the support that you guys showed me with yesterday's video um, i read through the comments of yesterday's video like all of them well mostly all of them there were there were some differing opinions but mostly all the uh the comments were saying the things that could probably save this game or that would have saved this game is if they were there was some sort of server merge and they allowed people to switch servers now my question to you is this i've got a couple questions i want to ask you for this video right and the first one is probably going to be this um when it comes to like a server merge or anything to do with the servers in your perfect tower of fantasy world what would it take for you right now to come back like i when i think about a server merge i think about two different types of server merge right i think about like a server merge as far as all the servers come to together as one so america one america two america three america four whatever the case may be they all just become america one and everybody plays on that one server and then all of these channels because i don't know if it's just me but it seems like any channel above like two like four five six or seven something like that I, it always says that the channel is full and I, I for a while I thought there were just that many people playing but I'm starting to believe that there just aren't that many people playing and it just those servers are just inactive and they didn't like make it make it a, a they just didn't make it like to where you couldn't input those numbers I guess I'm sorry if I just like sounded like a, a, a blathering retard right there but I, I couldn't get my thoughts out. So I think that's what it is when it comes to those extra channels. But I feel like if they did merge the servers or whatever, those extra channels would finally be relevant and grinding bosses would be a good thing. And as a side note, and this isn't me rambling, this is just me kind of ranting a little bit. I think that if they do that, it'd be good because there's one thing that kind of pisses me off about this game. And it's my inability to fight world bosses because the world bosses are always dead. I don't have a jet board on. I definitely do not have a jet board on, so I am probably going to die right here. Uh, so if I die, I apologize. But no, I, I just think that uh, if they did merge servers and those extra channels could finally be filled with something, that would be good for me so I could actually do world bosses and stuff like that because it really sucks doing world bosses. So I think, like, when I think about server merge, I think about server merge in, like, two ways, right? I think about, like, bringing all the channels together in one, right, for, like, the American servers, and then they could do it another way. They could make it to where you could buy some sort of ticket and you can change servers. Now, obviously... I think one is probably going to be better than the other, but everybody has their different opinions on how they think a server like change or a server switch should go. So, what do you think? Like, what, what, what would it be like the thing for you that would get you back as far as a server, you know, server thing? Like, would you want to buy some sort of in-game ticket in the shop for Tanium to switch your server to America One with all your characters? And then uh, another one, and actually I think there's probably three. Another one would probably be if they allowed our PC characters to be on you know, the PlayStation servers, obviously that would be like a more ideal goal. However, me personally, I would probably get super pissed because on my PC account, like I have all of this progress on my PC account. My character on PC is like level 71, I think. And I've got so many characters uh, leveled up, but I don't have like all the new characters 
So I would be sort of at a disadvantage with all the new stuff. Like that account, as strong as it is, it's going to be weaker than this account. And I probably wouldn't want to play that account, nor would I want to spend money on that account because I've already got the new characters on this account. So I don't know if that would necessarily be a good like thing to have my PC account be a playable on my PlayStation. However, I know a lot of people probably would play uh, for a little bit anyway. Um, and then like another like idea for like a server merge... Um, I guess that's just it. I guess that's just it. That's all my ideas for server merges. Like, um, a ticket to bring your character from one server or just, just as a, a group thing, just merge all of the servers in one and then, uh, like, bring your PC character over to PlayStation. Like, what would you, what would you choose? Like, and when I, when I say, like, bring your, like, a ticket thing, like, if you're on, like, Europe 1, you could bring your, your character over. Now, I don't know about having, like, all the servers, like, Asia 2 or whatever the case may be on PlayStation have all of those come over. I don't know if that would be sustainable by their servers or whatnot like that, but there needs to be something that, that they can do to like, because the game is like dying and I think this is probably only one of the only things that would bring people back. Now there's something else that I want to talk to you about a topic of this video. We're going to talk about that at length after I finish this boss fight because I need some more gameplay to do while I talk to you. Alright, so uh, the other thing I want to ask you in this video, I know we kind of pretty much covered it yesterday with the video and everybody's comments, right? But I don't think it was specifically focused on this. The question I wanted to ask you is this. Like, obviously, you guys like Tower of Fantasy. There's still a part of you in there that some somehow still likes it. But right now, the game is just stale. Some people were saying they're waiting on a certain character to become. It's a drought season right now. And that the game is just not... You know something they want to play or pull on because they're waiting for a specific update so you know with all that in mind if there was an update that came out tomorrow an update that comes out tomorrow and it has three major fixes on it and this is me being a youtuber so so you know cut me some slack here what would your major three fixes be that would put you back into the game and I think that I'm not supposed to tell you that I kind of have the support of Tower of Fantasy. So I'm pretty sure they're going to watch this video right now. So I think like this is like kind of relevant to, to all of us who play the game. So, because they're probably going to be watching is what I'm saying. Um, because they want to know like how they could like make the game better. I've seen a couple different fixes uh, on the patch notes. That have been things that I've specifically have talked about. Now, I, I realize that they have an entire, like, Discord thing. And I'm in their Discord server for the PlayStation side of stuff. So, you know, there's, there's probably people that, that are talking there and they're listening to the feedback there as well. But I think they, they do watch YouTube videos and they do look for the feedback. So, um, if there could be one fix right now, three fixes, you know, what would it take to get you back on the game? Like, honestly. I think that for me... I still like playing the game. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just loyal to the game because I, I understand. I get it. Maybe it's because I've dropped racks on the game that I can't drop it like that. Maybe it's because I have already, like, invested, you know, weeks and hours into building up a community on this game. But I don't want to give this community up without a fight because, honestly... The community for Tower of Fantasy has been a really good one for the channel. I mean, lately, there have been some pretty toxic people in the comments. You know, I can I definitely see where toxicity is starting to come in at. People are getting bored. They are running out of things to be, like, positive about. Um, and then sometimes they just want to be, like, toxic when they're trying to, like, give information or whatever. And I don't think it needs to be that way. I think if you want to be cool and give information, you can be cool and give information. You don't have to say things, you know, because some people can just be super toxic with it, bro. Like, one guy, he left a comment. He was like, um, your team you're using is outdated anyway or something like that. And he was like, you should use this team. And it's like, bro, I, I get it, you know. It's just like, I have to make content for the game for people to reach all peoples, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to, but it really is incumbent on me to, like, do what I can to reach all people. Like, I made that video with Crow. Of course, Crow is not the best Bolt character right now. But there are people out there who probably are free to play, who 
have Crow and they use Crow and they're like, is Crow good? I can't tell you how many times people came through my live streams and that was a question that was asked. They were like, hey, I got this character on my team. This is a good character. So I want to, you know, use these different characters and give those people like, you know, some hope that the characters they have are good. So that's me just reaching out to all people, putting that title, that, you know, the Crow title in the, uh, the Crow name in the title of the video would basically just let people know like, hey, yeah, yeah, I use Crow and Crow is, is still kind of viable and this is me using him in this current, you know, season or whatever. But no, uh, I think for me, what would be three good fixes? Well, for certainty, they would have to do something about these gold banner characters because I, I don't know, whenever I play the game, I am a person who, I'm gonna die. I'm a person who really enjoys having a variety in characters and I, I'm, I am gonna die actually. Oh my gosh. I like having a variety in characters and I want to be able to use all the characters because I don't know, for me it's just an, an enjoy like enjoyment aspect of the game, being able to use as many characters as possible. Um, so I think something definitely with that gold banner allowing us to get more characters because honestly, bro, like realistically, I mean, I talked about this before in a video, but realistically thinking, bro, there's not a lot of people playing this game. This game is not like triple A or whatever like that. And just holding characters hostage in a game that's not like a perfect game that everybody is just all over. Like it's not, it's definitely not Genshin Impact, you know what I mean? So it, it, I, I just think if they want to keep people playing their game, they shouldn't like hold some of these characters hostage, especially the characters that are not meta. Um, something that happened to me the other day, I got a random tin pull, a black nucleus tin pull, and I got a gold. And in that gold, I got a, like my eighth version of King. And I'm just like, the whole time I'm thinking like, why am I getting another version of, another like constellation advancement of King when I have King at A6 already? This is gonna be like my seventh, eighth version or eighth thing of King. There needs to be a system in place that says, okay, you've got all of that. Um, okay, now you can, we will unlock the ability for you. Cause I, I gotta tell you, bro, I don't have Cobalt. I don't have Claudia. I don't have uh, Meryl. And that honestly makes me kind of grumpy. So I think something with the gold banners allowing us to get all the characters would be good. I think uh, maybe unlocking a new area that has a lot to do in the area, maybe some repeatable quests, I think that would bring a lot of people back. I know being able to do more in the game, I think some people were saying they just get on, do the grind, it's over because they've ran through all the content. And I think that, you know, a game like this, you definitely have to keep the content going so more people will have a reason to keep playing longer and every day. Especially those people that really like take the game and make it their main game. I think that's what happened with a lot of people and I think that's kind of what happened to a lot of people. They turned this game into their main game and for that they rushed through all the content and now they have nothing else left to do in the game except hop on, do dailies and then hop off and that can get a little boring. So I just think some more content if they did do an update tomorrow. Obviously the server merge, being able to play with a bunch of different people or having more people on the play uh, because not being able to do Frontier Clash right now is for me, a person who still loves playing the game every day, for me that is still very frustrating because I would love to be able to get on and make my content surrounding around Frontier Clash. Like, there are no real game modes in the game right now at level 70 that I can play that allows me to go in by myself um, to to show a build off, you know, if I'm gonna solo a boss, it has to be a boss that is in Asperia, and as most of you well know, the Asperia bosses are few and far between. You know, they're dead, and then once they're dead, they're gone for like 20 minutes, and they don't come back, and then you never know who's gonna farm those bosses or waiting for them. I remember, I think I was fighting Robarg, right? I finally, I finally looked up, and Robarg came back. I was waiting for Robarg to come back on server three or whatever, and he finally came back. And I'm trying to solo him, and then somebody just was there, was just sitting there camping, waiting for him to come back as well. And no hate to that person that did that, because they were trying to get their gameplay, and it was just, you know, they they helped me to fight him, and I couldn't upload that because I wanted to be like some solo, some solo stuff with the build I was running. Um, and I and I read somebody's comment too. They were just like, it was fun just going around with your friends and doing a, a boss grind. I think whenever I did come of my first live streams, that was some of the funnest things that I was able to do on live was to get a group of people from the stream and to go and fight the world bosses. And it's more fun for me when I can fight world bosses that are 
not super insane that I feasibly can can defeat, right? That I could feasibly defeat by myself. Because some of these world bosses, like the Sobek, bro. I mean, I know there's probably like a way to do the Sobek properly, but I don't like Sobek simply because he has that ability to just go into the ground and just one-shot you, and it shouldn't be that way. Like, there's a way to beat the, um, the uh, Apophis boss because he has that mechanic where he can one-shot you, but you can get out of the way of his one-shot or whatever. So I think there needs to be more... I don't know, more, more, a way for people to do more solo content, I guess, is that, that's probably the, the, what I'm hitting at. I need to be able to heal myself right now because I can't. What is going on? I need, I need to equip that jet board. This is actually pretty, pretty freaking irritating. I'm going to die to this. Okay, hold on. I can hit this. Hopefully I stay alive. All right. Yeah. So that, um, characters. Being able to do more solo content. I wish they would add more solo content in the game. Like, I get it. This is supposed to be an MMO, and you're supposed to be able to play with other people. And that's cool. And I, you know, I always had that sort of fear. Like, I knew that the day would come. I just didn't know it would come in, like, a month of the game being out that people would sort of dip on the game. Maybe two months it's been. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be this fast. So, uh, just more things to do solo when you don't have to necessarily be with people. I died. I was trying so hard to stay alive. I'm trying to use human. I don't want to use the same team over and over again. Like, um, the guy on one of my videos, he was just like, um, when I was using my crow, my crow team and I was trying to like show, you know, Hey, this is what a six crow looks like or a five crow looks like. He was like, yeah, this is a better, better team comp anyway. And I'm just like, bro, I don't, I don't understand like what it is with certain people. Like I, I'm happy that they're giving me the information for sure. I'm, they're commenting and they're supporting, but I feel like it'd be just be great if some people would, I don't know, maybe realize that there is like a, I can't change my relic. That sucks. There is a YouTuber aspect to this and I have to actually like make YouTube content, you know, and I have to reach all people. Like I said earlier, if, if I'm going to expand my reach and I'm going to be a thing for this game, because most of you started watching my videos for the tutorials in how to do stuff for the PlayStation side. A lot of you did, um, and I really appreciate that. So I kind of want to keep to that same theme and being able to do that. This is so, I don't like this. I should have put on an ice weapon, but all my ice weapons are pretty pretty low right now. I can't fight them. All I, have to, all I can do is swim away and wait for this water to drain down. This, this, is, this sucks. Maybe I can get on this ice, okay, and do this. I'm sorry, I have to focus on this. I'm, 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 I'm low-key kind of sped, and I can't keep a thought while I'm trying to focus on staying alive, which is probably why I died last time, because this is sort of tricky. So I apologize. Maybe I should cut... Shit, bro. See, like, I didn't even think that that would not work. Maybe I should... Should I cut stuff like this in the future? Oh, yeah, one thing that I want to tell you, um, as, as far as I go and as far as Tower Fantasy go and as far as the channel and you, I would like... I know people left, like suggestions on what i should do for content and thank you for all the suggestions for what i should do for content i think that um if you clicked on a content creator you subscribe to that content creator i don't know i don't say it's your responsibility to like check out that content creator because i know there are people who, whoa i'm about to die again bro what is going on this is crazy right now okay hold on i gotta i gotta focus up I gotta focus up. This is, cr and he goes right back into that that fast. I don't remember him doing that that fast, right? He usually stands out for a minute. And now I'm stuck watering, or swimming in the water. Can I get on this ice really quick before anything else happens? I just want to get on the ice. Okay. All right. Uh. I hope he stay like this time when the water drains. I hope I can actually fight him for a second without him doing this. Because this is, this is, if I'm being honest, this is pretty bad. And I know you're supposed to have the jet board. I get that. That's still pretty bad because if you don't have the jet board equipped, you're kind of stuck. Uh, but no, what I was going to say as far as content, like if you clicked on, you know, whatever, a YouTuber and you like him for this or whatnot, I think it's 
it's it's it's a two-way street right it's up to you to click on that youtubers content that you sub to because you sub to this content you sub to the channel you like something you you saw you want to show support to that content that content creator whatever you know um and then on, at the other hand it's up to the content creator to put out content that you will click on so i mean like i said uh, i told you in yesterday's video that i was like at a loss as to what sort of content to upload and people gave me their their ideas so this is essentially what I would love to do, and I think that if I was a better content creator, and I know people are going to be like, bro, you're complaining about views. I get that. I do. And I know that you don't want to, you know, as a content creator, as a user, uh, as a viewer, you don't want to hear the content creator, like, complain about their problems, you know, because I always think about the one, the one YouTuber guy who was doing really good, and then fucking, I can't remember the dude's name, and then he started doing bad, and he started crying on his videos about how he needs his support brother why is this thing doing this this fast like it does it go even faster that's so dumb but anyways i don't want to be that guy you know what i'm saying like i was kind of in like a really bad spot because my mcn they decided to sort of do something weird with our paycheck for the last couple of months so it might have seen i might have tur turned some people off because I was like streaming, like trying to get donations or whatever like that. And I've seen people like, and here's the thing. It's because I've seen content creators who have been in tight situations and they have such loyalty to their community that they can tell their situation to their community and their community will like, you know, come to their aid or whatever like that. Like I remember this one YouTuber, his name was C-Reax, I guess. And he didn't need the money because looking at the views and shit on his channel and this is a, this is in no way throwing shade to him this is just an example he didn't need the money for a new pc he could go get a new pc whenever he wanted to looking at you know his view count or whatever but you know what the actual f but he was able to ask his community for you know years and years ago for money f to buy a pc and they they came to his aid i've done that before on this channel i needed to get a nintendo switch so i could make some zelda content and my you know a couple of my supporters they came through so i mean i know that was pretty off-putting right so i know a lot of people are like yeah all you do is beg for for whatever like that and you know so hopefully the situation with my mcn is over and they said it was only going to be like a you know a month or whatever like that that i go without full pay or whatever so hopefully this month i get my full check they told me what what it's going to be this month so i mean i'm going to be okay so you don't have to worry about me being like yo please donate to the live streams and that's why i was trying to sort of like pushing myself to like stream a whole lot because you know i was hoping that those donations would come through so i could pay my bills this month because two months in a row i didn't get proper pay from my multi-channel network you know what i mean um and then you know i was also you know i was kind of happy at the start of this because tower fantasy was doing really good on the channel and you know it is you know well anyways all i'm saying is this the reason why i even started on this topic was as people were giving me their ideas for content you know this is what my ideal you know situation for content would be and i feel like if i was a better content creator this would work because i've seen it work with other content creators on games that are just completely dead there are people who still play dragon ball xenoverse 2 for content and that game is absolutely seven years in the grave like realistically and they can do their videos and they can still get you know 130,000 views for it because people like them right and i know in a recent live stream somebody was telling me that i was just not likable and I, I can definitely see what they're talking about which is why i don't like i've never really tried to make like entertaining content because i don't think i'm i'm particularly good at it i know there are a couple of people out there who will be like no you're super entertaining i enjoy watching your live streams hearing you talk hearing your takes on stuff and that's because you're always going to have those people that are like-minded in certain ways and they agree with your point of views but that doesn't necessarily translate to you being like super funny or you know to the greater audience at large that just really like you know mess with you like there's a reason why i show speed has such a big community he could do anything and it would just be entertaining because he makes a lot of loud screams and you know whatever i i i could do that but it would just be cringy so that's why i make tutorial guides you know I, I sit there, I play the game for hours, and I can show people how to do stuff, you know, find some secrets or whatnot like that, show, you know, easy ways. But my ideal content going forward right now for this game would be just like this, man. You guys clicked on the the video where I talked about, you know, the, the server's dying. Hopefully, this will go pretty much the same way where you guys click on this and hear my opinions, and you guys give your opinions in the comments, and the more you guys type your comments, the more YouTube is going to, like 
suggest this video to more people and i hope this is not coming off as me complaining or begging for views that's not what i'm saying i'm just basically trying to uh fill some time and let you know how i'm feeling about this and maybe let you know because i you know i'm a, I'm a firm believer in this right closed mouth don't get fed you know so if i don't tell you this then maybe nothing you know in it, it just won't be a thing so i mean my whole ideal thing would be just me sitting just like this playing the game maybe you give me some build suggestions for the game and me using those build suggestions as best as i know how or just me using my own build playing the game and you guys like you know giving me your opinions on stuff like that you know what i mean that, that I mean, just a commentary like you know just a, a tower fantasy commentary video you know, that's that's essentially what i i think the uh the end goal was always going to be for this game once i built up a a a community a following for this game so i don't know just let me know what you think about that down in the comments i know this video has gone on way too long it's been 20 minutes on this section of the video uh alone so uh i apologize for the length and i just i'm sorry it is what it is man this is just me being super real with you